everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thanks for stopping by. I'm Carol and I hope you will consider subscribing. So most of you follow me for canning and today we are going to do a canning video, but I like to, even though I love all of the staple things that we can, I love to find things out of the box for canning up. And today is going to be a video on something that's out of the box. On Ball Fresh Preserving's website, they have a recipe for strawberry vinaigrette. And I thought, how delicious, how outside of the box, how fun. And it would also be fantastic for Mother's Day, either at, for a dressing for a special salad for Mother's Day or for gift giving because you guys, this turns out so, so pretty. So that was kind of my thought process when I found this recipe and I found that it was really fun to make. It does take two days to make it, so you have to kind of plan ahead. It's not a difficult recipe at all, but it does take some planning. Planning. Now to infuse, what they're wanting you to do is infuse vinegar with your strawberries or infuse your strawberries with vinegar, whichever way you want to think of that. Um, their recommendation was to let them sit overnight, let your strawberries sit overnight in vinegar. I think that this recipe benefits from a longer time. I let mine sit overnight, but I let them sit longer the next day. So mine soaked for really about 18 hours. I think 24 would be even better, but that's just my opinion. Their instructions are not very explicit. They just say to um, let them sit overnight. So I'm recommending at least 12 hours. 18 is fantastic. 24 if you have the time and have planned ahead. So this recipe does not take a lot of ingredients. It takes strawberries, of course. You need five quarts of fresh whole strawberries washed and stemmed. Now I did find when I was making this, they are recommending that you leave your strawberries whole. I think this recipe benefits from either having or quartering your strawberries. Um, because once you pour your vinegar over your strawberries to infuse the vinegar, I found that my, the amount of vinegar they want you to use did not cover all of my strawberries. So um, the next morning I got up and I stirred them and let them sit longer to make sure the ones on top got into the vinegar. So if you quarter them or have them, it, your strawberries are gonna take up less space and I think that they would be covered better by your vinegar. That's just my opinion. I don't recommend crushing them or um, pureeing them. They don't want any of the pulp in your vinegar and your finished product, even though you strain it. Um, I wouldn't recommend crushing them, but I do think that it benefits from having them or quartering them. Just my experience. You also need a quart or four cups of, they are recommending white distilled vinegar. You guys know I'm bougie if you've followed me for very long. I love to use white wine vinegar in my salad dressings. I just really enjoy its flavor. So I did use white wine vinegar in place of the white distilled vinegar. You can safely swap out vinegars as long as it's 5% acidity or greater. This white wine vinegar is 7% acidity, so I was totally fine in making the swap. So um, you could use any vinegar, like I said, that you prefer as long as it's 5% or greater. A champagne vinegar would be delicious here if that's in your budget to do so. Champagne vinegars can kind of be on the pricier side. White distilled vinegar is definitely gonna be budget friendly. Um, the white wine vinegar I bought on sale, so that worked well for me. A balsamic would be nice. Uh, white balsamic is really delicious. Um, so again, use whatever vinegar appeals to you as long as it's 5% acidity or more. The other thing you need is you're gonna need sugar. The amount is to be equal to your strawberry vinegar. Um, I ended up using about four cups of sugar, so it will vary slightly, but you should end up in your with your finished um, vinegar once you soak your strawberries in the vinegar should end up being about four cups. So you're gonna need about four cups of uh, sugar as well. And then this will be canned up in the eight ounce jelly jars. I do not have processing times for anything larger. They only give times for the eight ounce jelly jars. So you could process this in the eight ounce jelly jars or the four ounce jelly jars using the processing time for the eight ounce jelly jars. Their instructions are to place your strawberries in a large stainless steel sauce pot or plastic container after you've washed and stemmed them. I used a large stainless steel bowl and then I poured my four cups of vinegar over my strawberries. 
You wanna cover it tightly with plastic wrap and let it stand in a cool, dark place overnight. So I covered mine with a towel and stuck it in a dark place in my kitchen. And as I stated, I let the next morning I got up, I stirred my strawberries and got the ones on top into the bottom and I let them sit a little bit longer. So once your vinegar has sat for the appropriate amount of time, you're going to strain your vinegar. I just poured everything over a large strainer into a large measuring cup because again, they want us to use equal amounts, strawberry vinegar and sugar. Once you strain your strawberries, you are ready to add your sugar and start the canning process. And that's where we're gonna start right now. So I ended up with exactly four cups of liquid from the vinegar and my berries. You wanna make sure, like I said, the, the liquid is nice and clear. You don't have any pulp. So to that, their instructions are to add an equal amount of sugar. So I'm gonna add four cups of sugar and we're gonna bring this up to just a boil and then we are all set for canning. Keep an eye on it. You wanna stir occasionally to make sure it's not burning on the bottom. And then while that's happening, you can get your canner and your jars ready. I am going to be steam canning. I have three quarts of simmering water in the bottom of my steam canner. If you're a water bath canning, you wanna make sure that you have enough water in your canner to cover your jars by at least an inch. Our canning guidelines state that you do not need to pre-sterilize jars and lids. So I just washed my jars. I have them in my canner, keeping them hot. We're gonna start with, make sure you start with hot jars. It's important because we're gonna be adding hot liquid. We don't want to shock our jars and cause them to crack. My lids, I've just washed and set aside. So I'm gonna bring this up to a boil and then we are all set. Okay, I brought my vinaigrette up to a boil. Like I told you, you really just wanna make sure the sugar is completely dissolved. That's why you wanna bring it up to a boil. So now I am starting with two hot jars. Make sure your jars are nice and hot and we are going to ladle our vinaigrette into our jars to a quarter of an inch headspace. It is so pretty and it smells so amazing. If you have any foam, you can skim that off. You don't have to, but it won't hurt anything, but it's not so pretty if it's on there. So if you wanna skim it, you can. I didn't really have very much. Okay, once we get to our quarter of an inch headspace, there's nothing to debubble because it's all liquid, so we can leave, uh, we don't need to use our debubbling tool. You wanna take a paper towel dipped in white vinegar to clean your rims really well. We don't want anything to interfere with a good seal. Then we're going to center our lids. And add our bands to fingertip tight. And in the canner they go. Hey guys, I ended up with six of the jelly, the eight ounce jelly jars, just like they said they that we would. So the recipe is right on the money. It looks like you're gonna wanna be looking for about four cups of uh, infused vinegar uh, once you strain everything. So I have my, like I said, I'm steam canning. I have the three quarts of simmering water in my bottom of my steam canner. I put my jars in, I'm gonna add the lid. I'm gonna bring my canner up to temperature. My steam canner has a gauge on top that tells me when to start my processing time. If you are water bath canning, you wanna make sure the water covers your jars by at least an inch and you it has to reach a full rolling boil before you start your processing time. Once you are ready to start your processing time, you wanna adjust your heat just to maintain. You don't want it boiling too vigorously throughout the canning process. We're gonna process for 10 minutes, and when we're there, I'll bring you back. All right, guys, we are all finished. Um, wasn't that a really simple recipe to do? Like I said, it takes a little bit of preparation, but it was not hard at all to do and it turned out so pretty. So I wanna show you, you cannot can in these swing top bottles, unfortunately, but they are perfect for storing your strawberry vinaigrette in the refrigerator. I would not leave this out at room temperature, that's just me. Um, and Ball doesn't give any instructions for using it once you open it up to use it on your salad or for your vinaigrette, um, but I would refrigerate it. I also wanted to mention that this would also be a great base for a fruit shrub. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with a fruit shrub, it is basically a 
syrup made from vinegar and berries or fruit just like we just did this and you add a couple tablespoons to a glass with ice in it and then you top it off with club soda so you could use this totally to make a delicious non-alcoholic um, cocktail for the summer and this dressing would be fantastic on top of all kinds of salads the summer or to use as a marinade for chicken i think it would be fantastic um i like to have oil in my vinaigrette so i'm not going to use this just like this to dress my salad um, i'm going to add some oil maybe some salt and pepper you could also add some uh, basil would be good strawberry and basil goes really well together but but if you wanted to make a true vinaigrette you could certainly add some oil to this after you can it and when you open a jar um, add some oil whatever spices that you would like to in your salad dressing so anyway thanks so much for coming along with me today if you guys have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them for me in the comment section don't forget to like subscribe and share and i will see you next time have a great day